here is my room at, at the hospital. Hello. And these are my visitors. Mm -hmm. And um, on my left, Jessica on the right. And my big <laughs> TV screen that I brought in in the middle. And that's my PS3 to play my games. Anyway, there's my guitar over there. Also for amusement and therapy. Um, but the real star of the show right now is this little bag of creamsicle looking stuff. On camera, it looks like pink grapefruit juice. And that, my friends, is several million irradiated stem cells that have been cryogenically frozen for the past two and a half years that were taken from me in 2007 in the event that I would need another transplant. And lo and behold, I'm having another transplant. So what you're looking at right there is a bag that is, it's not even hooked up to the pump. This bag runs specifically on gravity and simply eases its way down this hose and this hose and into my chest cavity right there where it whirls around whirls around my body and finds a way to get into my bone marrow. Nobody really knows how, but it, the, the cells will go travel through my skin and figure out where they belong, go into my bone marrow, where they will congregate, and then they will continue and start, well, they will start to reproduce um, red blood cells, white blood cells, all my blood cells. And uh, right now it's just a waiting game for uh, for that to happen. Because as I was telling my mom, the damage has already been done. The high dose chemotherapy happened yesterday. That stuff's enough to kill me or anybody else. Um, so the damage is done. What we're waiting for now is the superhero, which is my stem cell, to come in and battle back the chemo and overwhelm the chemo and. Uh, start fresh. And that's really what's happening. It's really kind of an amazing process. There's nothing really high tech about it. It's just high theory. And um, we're waiting for it to happen. I'll check you later.